The PlayStation 4 Pro is currently not only the strongest console ever created in history, but it is also the strongest console available right now on the gaming market. Um, besides PCs, which we're not going to throw into that category, because PCs are their own thing and they will always be the most powerful thing available, obviously. Um, they're their own thing, so we will not include those. But the PlayStation 4 being the most powerful thing on the market, uh, this being the Pro, being able to do 4K gaming, it is no doubt that Xbox uh, and Microsoft have been on the low end of the sales for the last three years, which is unfortunate, to say the least, but um, things could change. And uh, with true 4K gaming, 6 teraflops of power, 320 gigabytes of memory bandwidth with uh, 8 CPU cores, Project Scorpio, which was teased last year E3, will most likely be revealed this year at Microsoft's press conference in June on Sunday at 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Actually, it might be 5 p.m. Eastern Time when they choose to uh, have their uh, E3 uh, 2017 press conference. And um, it's pretty much a guarantee that we're going to see the full reveal of Scorpio, as well as a price, a release date, a demo, and or what first-party exclusives will be released with the game. This begs the question, can Scorpio deliver? The Xbox One, like any other console, has had its issues. PlayStation 4 is not exactly the cream, is cream in the crop, if that makes any sense. Um, we know this already. Xbox had connectivity issues, they both have. Xbox has had issues with uh, uninstall speeds. I would like to see the feature of, of not having to install a game before playing it a thing. I know it's probably not going to ever happen, in fact it's probably here to stay, but the idea of not having to install a game before playing it is a beautiful thing, and if somehow a Scorpio could allow that to be a thing, that's a huge plus. Probably not going to happen, but it'd be a huge plus. And um, Microsoft has also said before that Scorpio will be able to play a select few uh, 360 games that I believe will be backwards compatible, uh, popular shit like Call of Duty and maybe Red Dead Redemption. Um, also, it will be able to play with anybody who is on the regular Xbox One, as, um, as well as the Xbox One S, which we know is um, a monster at being able to watch uh, 4K um, movies and uh, being a smaller size and having more gigabyte space and power. Um, but a lot of people are afraid that the Scorpio is getting overhyped, and a lot of people are actually afraid of the price. We know that the Xbox One, when it launched, was $400. Um, if you were like me and you went and got it on a night, you end up probably spending a lot more than that. I know I spent $600 a night that I got the Xbox One because I bought games at the same time that I went and got it. So, um, and we know that the PS4 was $300, which is cheaper. Now the question is, does Sony have some invisible console besides a Pro that they're going to reveal? I don't think so. I think Xbox, uh, Micro I think Microsoft will be the only company this E3 revealing a console. Uh, this thing, of course, Project Scorpio. Um, I would like to, I'm looking forward to seeing the design of this thing, a new brand new controller for it, as well as new first party exclusives, which we know we're going to see in, um, sorry about that, the, the, the sound in there, my apologies, um, as well as, uh, the new party exclusives, I, I guess games like, um, uh, Skate, State of the K2, I can expect that to be probably launching a Scorpio, um, but the pricing, we know that this Bing, the possibility of being the most powerful console ever created, and it being launching in Holly 2017, that the price is has the opportunity to be pretty, it could be a pretty ridiculous price. But Microsoft's gonna have to be smart with their choosing, and they're gonna have to have a reason for um, the pricing. And I guess, I remember last time when people were complaining about the PS4 being better and being cheaper, um, the, uh, the mentality from Phil Spencer, the head of uh, Microsoft was, well, with the Kinect and everything, with the Xbox, our Xbox is definitely $100 more expensive. Well, that's not the case, because the PS4, even before the Pro, was way better than the Xbox One. The graphics are the graphics are a little bit, it's not much, but the graphics are a little bit better on PlayStation. But I don't know, what do you guys think in the comments below? Do we think Scorpio will dethrone Sony for the first time in who knows how long? I don't think they've ever been dethroned, actually, from Xbox. 
will the Scorpio be the new thing? Will it compete with PCs? Which is a funny thing to talk about because that probably never happened. I'm just just thing to speculate. But let me know, guys, in the comments below what you guys think about Project Scorpio, and um, you know, let's discuss it. Message me on Facebook. Message me on Twitter. Comment below. And uh, yeah, guys. So uh, game chat episode eight. Or, yeah, probably I think this is 7 or 8, something like that. Um, stay tuned tomorrow for probably the return of uh, some battlefield gameplay on the channel. It hasn't been a while. But, uh, yeah, guys, have a good one. Scorpio 2017. We'll see.